Thanks, Simon. Uh, good afternoon. I wonder if I could start by getting your thoughts on the big news today about Frank Lampard leaving Chelsea. Um, does it show in many ways the challenge and the difficulties for young managers who are trying to break into the elite level at clubs? Young and old managers. So here you have to win. When the people talk about projects and ideas, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't exist. Is you have to win. If not, you will be sacked. Um, respect the decision from Chelsea, of course, but a huge hack from, from Frank. And hopefully I can see him soon. Uh, when the lockdown will be will be over, I can go to a restaurant to, you know, to see him again. Have you been impressed by what you've seen from him in his short managerial career? Sorry? Have you been impressed by what you've seen from Frank Lampard in his relatively short managerial career to this point? If he's appointed a team like uh, Chelsea after and the good job had done in every country, so it's because they deserve it. But we, de we, we depend on the results. Not the way we played, not about uh, philosophy or these kind of things or the projects. So you have to get results. If not, you will be replaced for another manager. Thomas Tuchel is set to replace him, someone that you have come across in your time in the Bundesliga. I just wonder what qualities he'll have and what he'll bring to the Premier League. When it's confirmed, I will let you know. Thank you. Um, and just finally then on Sam Allardyce, um, he's become the master, hasn't he, in terms of managers of keeping teams that are threatened with relegation in the Premier League. I just wonder, it's been difficult for all of you coaches this year to have an impact because of the number of games and the, and the strange season. But what impact have you seen Sam have on West Brom since he took over? Well, I had good results, bad results, like everyone. So it's not easy to take over a team during the season. But against Wolves, against uh, Liverpool, against, uh, you know, get uh, some other clubs, get get uh, a good results. In the past, uh, West Bromwich, uh, draw here in the Tegata Stadium, draw against Chelsea. Uh, so, and uh, like you said, so Sam Allardyce is a, is a genius to, to take this these teams when everybody believes it's, it's over and, and get results. So, and what happened once, twice, three times, you can say, okay, it's lucky, but it's not the case because I've done, I don't know how many times. So, but in the same time, so no much time for the tough game against Cheltenham. And, but uh, today the training session was really good and uh, optimistic to, to take a bus tomorrow, travel to, to West Bromwich and, and uh, yeah, and try to do a good game. Ben, uh, next we go to Simon Stone. Hi, Pep. Um, you're on a winning run now. Do you almost feel your team is in the best form? You've got injuries, but the form's carried on. The results give you an incredible boost, an incredible confidence. So, so sometimes you believe what is first, the results make you play good, or do you make play good? You get results. Uh, I think both are connected, and uh, but we are in end of January, so it just it was Bromwich seeing what uh, since uh, some other days took over the the team, what what uh, they have done. Try to analyze them, the individual qualities that they have, uh, especially up front with the quality of Pereira. And, um, and try to make a good game and get another another victory. If you win, you will go back to the top. Do things like that matter? The leader is United. So they are top of the league. So, and uh, the moment we'll have all games, the same games all together, we'll see. But now we are not top of the league. and. And uh, the distance for the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth is so close, so narrow. So you win one or two games, you are up. We are losing, you are down. So, but like I said the last weeks, I don't see much the table. Like I didn't watch it much when, when we were 12, and uh, eight points, eight points behind the leaders. So now it's the same. So my focus after Cheltenham yesterday in the afternoon start to think about and work about West Bromwich. See some series from BBC, and that's all. Thank you, Simon. Next, we go to Emma Saunders. <clears throat> Hi, Pep. Um, you mentioned 
Pereira there and, and the quality you think he has, just how much of a threat do you think he poses in his current form as well? Well, it's not just Pereira. I know how good the San Maladay teams are in the set pieces, in the and throwings in the corners, in the free kicks. I can imagine they work a lot this week to punish us in this way, how good they attack the channel, how good they are in counter-attack, because they are two or three incredible fast players up front. Um, but you have, at the same time, you have to discover the weak points that maybe they have and try to, you know, to impose our game. But every, every, we cannot forget. So in Chantelham, 80 minutes, we were 1 0 down. So uh, football, everything can happen. But in the same times, when we are who we are in the last month, month and a half, we will have our chance to, to get results. And you said um, after the one all draw in December, you have to try and find a way to win that kind of game. How do you ensure that you get all three points this time around? Is there anything you do differently? Yeah, a little bit better. We have to play a little bit better. We had chances to win the game, especially in the end, but the way we play was not was not good in that time. So you have to okay to play better that we play at home to win the game. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Next we go to Mike Minet, BBC Manchester. Hi Pep, good afternoon. Um that West Brom game was the last time you 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 drew or dropped points um, before this 10-game winning run. What, what changed after that game to help this momentum? Was there anything that changed? It's difficult to say. So we won the next game against in Southampton. That I think was one of the turning points, how difficult it was. Because in that moment, in the, right now as well, but in that moment, Southampton was in incredible top form and in difficult stadium, we were able to beat them. And after the game, against Newcastle and the process we, we, we started to play better, better, more confident. The results gave us a lot of confidence. We saw that we were far, far away top of the league and every week we were closer. And yeah, you know, the, the team has sleep better, eat better, training better. Uh, the due the results and and that's why we we were the successive wins. But now we have another one. So I'm not I know you always you ask me about the past, the past, uh, what happened, happened. I'm not a big, big fan about this because it's the past. So sometimes doing the same, you cannot win. So the next one is the only important, like have done the recent weeks. Um, following that 1 1 draw, West Brom sack Slavin Bilic. Are they now in a stronger position under Sam Allardyce? Are they a stronger team this time around? A different way. Some aspects are quite similar. The quality of the players are the same. So, but any 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 manager at or put something on the team different than the other one. Thank you, Mike. And um, next, uh, Dan Salisbury Jones. Uh, hi, Pat. Uh, Dan from ITV News. Um, just one quick question for me on Frank Lampard, please. I know you've already answered once on this before, but you know you face difficult. Even you face difficult times in in your career. How important is it for clubs to show patience? All the manager we need this. All the ideas are good. But I, I, I'm not judging the decision from Chelsea, so I'm not there. So respect and every decision has to be that way. So, but, but no, no, sometimes the journalists ask you know, the clubs be patient when the journalists don't have patience. So we draw one game and we should be sacked all the managers. So so our world is uh, is try to win as much as possible. And when it doesn't happen, if, uh, if you don't have the sport directors or the boards and the owners and the, the CEOs in the same line and you know exactly what the target, where is the, the place where you have to go and do it. But every manager, every manager, you know, need, need time, need time to, you know, to, to do what, what you believe or make, feel the players that it doesn't matter what happened. We believe in this, we go through in this idea. And, uh, and, and that is an exceptional happening in few, 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 few places in all around the world because 
all the boards and the owners and the CEOs and the sport that were results immediately, immediately, immediately. And, uh, and quick and quick and quick. And win the Premier League in November better than January. In January better than May. But this is impossible, it doesn't happen. So that's why always is, is difficult, you know, to, to, to talk about the projects in the next years or whatever. So you have to win. But in one month, you can drop everything you built because the opponents are good too. The opponents have good managers too, and good players too, and they can win. And when that's happened, always you are in the in risk, you know, to 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 be out.